Hi guys, in this video, we will see how you can use insert statement in SQL to insert data inside your table. The syntax is simple, insert into the table name and the column list which is separated by comma and the values and inside parenthesis you enter the value list again separated by comma. So now let's open my SQL workbench. Make sure that the database tutorial is selected. Otherwise, use this command to select this database tutorial. We want to insert this data inside the table department. Currently, you can see that inside the tables, if you go here and click on this button, so you will find that the department table is empty. You have the columns, but there is no data inside it. Now, let us try to insert these rows in this table department. For this, we will use insert into command, insert into and the table name is department values and we give the department id is 1 it is CSE it should be in single quote because it is a string and it is AK Verma so now you can notice that I have not written the column list here just I have written the value separated by comma because I need to insert all the values and in the same order as we declared while creating the table. So the column list is optional in that case. So let us see if I insert this value and let me preview what is the table looking now. So you can see that this value is inserted properly. You can also use this syntax like you enter department ID, department name and HOD and here you enter the values. So let us say we want to insert the second row. For second row, it is instrumentation and it is P Oja. So let us insert it. As you can see again, the second value is, has also been inserted. You can use these commands to insert the third and fourth row. So once we run it, then we can see that the department table is updated and we can see all the rows as we wanted here now let us try to insert data into this student table so we will use again the insert command insert into table name is a student values now here we need to give the column so here we will give the column names admission number first name last name we have address dov gpa and department number and the values are for first row it is 21 mt 0001 ravi and you have kumar the address is 215 indiranagar dov i told you it should be in the format first year then month then you have date it is the standard format for SQL date and the GPA is floating point so it should be without single or double quote and the department number is again an integer so let's run it so let us see the preview of the student table now as you can see this row has been inserted you can use these commands to insert the remaining rows for null just write null without any single quote The assignment for this part is you need to insert data into the course table which you created in the previous assignment. Also you need to insert data in the enrollment table that you created in the previous assignment. Now one thing you can try here is try to insert a row which has a department number 7 or 8 which doesn't exist in the department table and you will see that you will get an error saying that foreign key constraint fails here. So you can also check for primary key like if you insert two rows with the same this course ID you will not be able to do so. So try out these things. Trying out these assignments by yourself will definitely help you. So thanks for watching and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet do subscribe it.